For the third installment of the Trappy series, we're gonna be doing a modified trap. I wanted to do this glove due to me being a Cubs fan. It's the same glove that Kyle Hendricks uses, the professor. Uh, it's a mouthful. It's a Pro S12 MTKB Pro. This is one of the Pro issue gloves that are left over after spring training. Rawlings glove days. It's just a surplus. Gorgeous glove here. Either want to do this one or Kenley Jansen's Pro 1004. Really love the tan on that one, but this one popped up at just the right time. I thought, what better glove to show you how to do a modified trapeze with. All right, let's get this thing unlaced. All right, let's get started. Materials needed for this section will be two, maybe three, 72 inch pieces of quarter inch lace. Now you're gonna need one entire piece for the spirals along the web. So that's where we're gonna start. You're gonna go through the middle, smooth side up. You're gonna lace it to where the two ends are even, similar to an H web. You're gonna wanna be pretty accurate on this one because you won't have very much, if any, left when you're done maybe about three inches. So give me a second to do that. All right, I got it pretty even. It's about, about my difference right there. Should be good. And if you got two needles, you can do it simultaneously like the H-Web as well. But I'm gonna do it one at a time. First hole right there on the index finger. Come all the way through. it to where you have just a little bit to play with. Don't want it too tight here. I like that'll work. Next step. Be going in the next hole down. All the way through. You can pull this one pretty tight because no lace is gonna be going through there. And this is gonna be all the spirals that you're gonna run your lace through. Next hole. This is where you're gonna leave just a pinch of, of excess to leave a little room for the lace. should work. Now you're going to continue that spiral all the way down. I'm going to meet you at this hole right here. All right. To a turning point right here. On this hole right here, if you hold the, the web where it needs to go, it's going to be the last hole. What we're going to do is I'm going to go rough side up here in this hole. We're gonna go keep inside the globe, don't go all the way through. I'm gonna come out this next hole. You can pull this one pretty tight too. No lace is gonna be going through that guy either. Might be a little too tight, I'm gonna back that out just a tad. leather folding up on you. Now we're going to take this and come out that left side of the web at the very bottom. And that's going to hold that web in place. And we're going to be coming in from the back side of the web like that all the way up. Again, leaving just a pinch of room so some lace can get in there. Finish the spiral up until you get to the second to the last hole and I'll meet you there. All right, to 
to the second to the last hole. And if you notice on the web, yours may not be like this. This one has a hole, three of them actually. This is where the other side of the web will come out with the, with the loops. But uh, we're gonna go in this hole, out that hole if I can get in the light, up in there to finish. If yours doesn't have any holes right there, it will have one right here. And you would just go right through there and finish up. But if yours has holes on the bar of the web, you're gonna go right there. Let's see if I can do this all in one shot. Check the lights before you pull that through. There we go. If it pops off, just grab some needle nose and pull it on through. And you can pull that one pretty snug. But you're gonna leave a little bit for when that lace needs to come through. on the other side but move a little bit faster since it's the same exact thing okay the thumb side we'll enter the very top hole right here still smooth side up right here coming all the way through right on the right on the glove right there kind of like that you get your tightness perfect that way it's about how much slack you want so now we're gonna be sticking it all the way through to come out the other side kind of scoop that underneath that bar we're gonna be going in the next hole. Again, on this one, I pull it pretty tight as nothing is going to be going through it. It's a good, good spot to check the spacing on the on the bar to see if you need to correct anything. It'll kind of move around on you. power going till we get right here and I'll pick back up okay to the hole where we need to stay in the glove just like the other side rough side up on the lace you gotta flip that up to see where you're going coming out right here and through the web a little tighter than the others again no lace will be going through it that's good now we're going to be continuing our spiral up this way coming in from the back spacing you want just a little bit I'll see you at the end okay, second to the last hole and just like the other side we're gonna be going in this hole the one under it just like that and out the vacant hole that's left hold on to that bar Fish that out. Here we go. I'm pulling on the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. A little bit more.
Yeah, I think that'll do it. Lace came out pretty good. About as much extra as I did at the beginning. And when you tie this, you're gonna wanna flip these to their smooth side facing the out. Like that, just twist them opposite ways. If you want to beat that with a mallet, you kind of flatten that out a little bit. Okay. Now we can tie. Measure how much excess I have on each quick. About almost four and a half usable right there. That's the part you got cut off. About five and a quarter on that one. Call it five. And let's get to the uh, web loops. Right, I'm going to start on the index side. I'm going to need another 72 inch piece of lace for this. And you could possibly do the other side with the excess of this, but that's why I say two to three because you might not. So we're going to start in the second hole right here. You're going to stay on top of the binding, or not binding, padding on the inside. And come out right here. If you want, you can go ahead and push it on through to that hole, but your lace might not stay on. There's a good chance mine's gonna come off, but let's try it. Ooh, we made it. Okay, go up all the way through. Okay. Yeah. Try to match that up with the top for the spacing. Check both sides, see how it looks. Just a touch less. There we go. Okay, here's the basic formation of the loops. We're just gonna go in rough side up and from the bottom. We'll start on this topmost loop. relatively tight. You kind of want to leave a little bit because we're about to go under it. So now next step, let's go under. Okay, give that a nice tug. And we're ready for the next one. Other side. Always go in from the bottom. That's why you leave yourself a little bit of room. There we go. Rough side. You always like to lift up on it to see. It gives you a good idea of what it's going to be once that goes under it. Good to me. Now we're going under once again. And that is the basic structure. I'll do one more and I'll turn you loose. Next hole, turn that hole, loop. side up. Looks like the lace twisted on me right there. I'll try to twist it back. There we go. Pull 
the slack out of that one. Give me a little lift to see what it'll look like. That's gonna be perfect. Again, go under. Continue down all the way. Uh, again, I'll meet you right here. All right, we're ready to go on the last hole here. So you should have something that looks like that. Very pretty. Okay. So this is our last hole here, and we're gonna be coming all the way out to the pocket side from here. Wiggle your needle through there until you find it. We come in the far most hole right there. And make sure your needle is, or lace rather, smooth side up when you go in. Try to get that on camera. slack out. See how there's a little bit? Pull it just a little tighter. There we go. Kind of match the same angle as the rest. Now, if your lace is a little turned like mine is, I'm going to turn it to where it'll go smooth side up when you come back out. So we're going to be going in third hole now. Coming out at the base of the web. Right there. I'm making sure my lace is straight so I don't have to redo it. Looks like it twisted once it got in there. That's something to keep your eye out for. I have to twist it again. the other side you don't want smooth side touching smooth so you need to twist it with your hands if it looks off like that it needs to go the other way it should be level with each other that's perfect I'm gonna lace up for the other side all right I just measured and I have roughly 45 inches total. And if I take off four or five for my excess right here, we should have enough to do the other side with one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Cut at four and a half. We don't wanna tie a single knot. Got your single knot. We are going to be entering at the top of the thumb right here. Stay on top of the binding. This I don't really let you get under. And due to that angle, I'm not even going to try to go all the way through. I'm going to pull it through as best as I can. And go back in the web. this hole right here. 
just like the other side. Okay, match up. Where that web will sit flush if you were to put it right on it. Or where you're happy with it. I like that. Yeah. Same thing with the other side. Going in rough side, facing up from the bottom of the loop. Continue on just like you did on the other side. Do one more. And from the bottom rough side up. Okay, we're to the end hole again on this side. Still have plenty of lace left. Be going in right here. You can probably guess where we're coming out on the leftmost hole of the web right there again trying to maintain smooth side up here as we go in okay might have got the tightness perfect on that pull pretty good. I'm going with it. All right. Place seems to be straight. Going in the last available hole now. And all the way out to the other side. Sometimes these can be kind of tough to find your way through. Here we go. flip on me. Let's take a look from this side as I pull up there. Oh, that nice. Just a little tighter. Perfect. Do is flip the lace on this side. Let's see. Wrong again. I need to go the other way. I believe. This lace is kind of thin, so I might need some help. Nope, I was right. What you're looking for. Yeah, we didn't have much lace to spare at all. So maybe a good four inches after we cut. So yeah, you can definitely get away with one lace for both sides. I'm gonna finish this up with a knot. This is close too pretty to not. There we go. And we'll 
go back and do the web spiral off camera because I already have a video on that. But that'll do it for the modified trapeze. If you have any questions, just uh, leave them below. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.